Welcome back to Don't Starve. My name is Kit, and we're loading up our world, and it's taken a little bit. Hmm. Never had it take this long before. So, anyway, sorry about the lack of, there we go, the lack of videos this weekend, or this week-ish. It's been a long week. Started with the Wings losing their 3-1 series lead to, uh, yeah, end up losing the entire series, which was, was very depressing. But as you'll notice, as I'm trapping down trees here that I really don't need, but it's, I have it come in and start collecting stuff. Um, I have cleaned up our camp. Cleaned up our camp, made a extra box or two. I've got um, basically all of our wearable items in here, our tools here, stuff that we can use for crafting here, which I am going to, we're going to build a couple things really quick that I have the materials for that are really cool that I wanted to show you. So first off, well, let's harvest our drying rack here. And if you'll notice, I um, did some harvesting in the bee boxes and ended up with, oops, not drop, dry. Uh, got some honey, and I believe they're almost due to be harvested again. Let me see. Yeah, almost do. One is, one isn't. I prefer to do them at the same time, so... Okay, let's see. What did I want to make? I know what I want to make. I want to make a bird cage. And I need two papers. And, oh, I don't have enough papyrus to make the second... Oops, not that one. The second paper. So we are going to have to go hit up the swamp and get some more reeves. I thought that might-ish be a problem. Let's make some honey something. And only because bird cages I've found are, are interesting, fun to play with. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna make one. I told you we're gonna, we'll go run through and just make all of the, where is this one? Yes, I organized it, but that still does not mean I can find anything. Um, so, you'll still have to bear, bear with me with the ability to find things. We are going to go see if we can find our best bets, probably down here. Find a firefly or two. see any we may. I'm not 
not sure if, if there's fireflies out in the rain. I mean, there aren't. Normally, we have fireflies all the time here, and they don't normally come out in the rain, but in this game world, you never know. They seem to be more prevalent where the grass here is darker, which is why we came down here and we're searching the dark grass, because they just seem Fireflies. It's hard to catch fireflies and carry a torch around at the same time. So I don't see any in our close proximity. Um, do we even have a torch? We actually do. our handy dandy lantern here, and I can show you how to use it. Since it's handheld, as you can see, it's going down oh, a spider. The use is, is oh, and I found the swamp we wanted, but I'm not. And it gives you actually a m much larger um, lit or radius than why didn't I find any fireflies than the torch does and it's it's nice and I'll show you how we refill it when we get back to camp because we have our light bulbs up there but right now yes I hear you um, any of you gonna argue with me about picking that no okay we just I know the tentacles are here I don't want to get ambushed while picking our reeds here. We only needed a couple, but since we're out here, well, that looks like stuff I had dropped on an earlier trip here. I guess if we don't want to get ambushed while we're out here picking reeds. times to that, just assuming, oh, there won't be any tentacles over there by that reed, and then having a tentacle actually guarding the reed, and once I started picking it, you know, it just came up and whooped my, my butt. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty. Oopsie. There's one. I should have no known that one was there with the spider glands. And, and here's Chester. Looking for Chester. See, Chester is a portable storage device. We don't need that right now. What can you hold, Chester? No. Give me that. Give me that. See, and he will, as long as his eye bone is either in your backpack or on your person, he will follow behind you with your stuff. Now, like I said, he does aggro mobs and stuff, so you do have to be careful where you take him. They have buffed up his health quite a bit, actually, so he does not... Oh, there's a spider nest I probably shouldn't have left sitting there. But they buffed up his health um, quite a bit, so he doesn't die as easily as he used to. He used to be somewhat useless to take with me, and for the most part, I would just um, leave him a home as an extra chest for the most part. But now they've made it. You know, I'm gonna pick up some of this rod because it does make great fertilizer. One of these days, we may dig up these bushes and create a whole little you know, farm back at our camp with, you know, the bushes and, and 
sticks and grass and all of those supplies. But, like I said, once you dig up the berry bushes, to continue to get them to produce berries, you have to um, fertilize them repeatedly. And we have plenty around our general area that digging them up just really doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me when it takes you know, not even a couple minutes out of the day to run a trip around you know, the area here and collect them. And I still have not seen even one. I know there's fireflies down there, but without a miner's hat, I'm reluctant to go down there and catch them because I cannot catch butterflies or, or fireflies. While I have, oh, there's some right there. While I have my lantern equipped, I'd like to get three, I think, because we need to make another miner's cap. We're out, because I'd like to go caving again, and still I want to find some bunnies. But we need, I'd like to make two of the pumpkin things just to show you. Firefly, there's some for there we go. A miner's cap. And fireflies are easy to capture during the day if you can see them. If you get close to them, they'll they'll light up for a second so you can see them. Um, if you hold down the space bar while you have a net equipped, it will automatically swing and catch them. If it is at night and you have the net equipped, you will, you can, it'll just give you the option of clicking on them and, and catching them. Or you can hold down the spacebar also. Okay, let's head back. Because we have, um, they used to actually have tentacles grow out of those little patches of swamp. Um, I don't believe they do that anymore, so. Still a little gun shy about those, though. Alright, we are going to harvest this. Put it in the box. You're going to see if you pick up your light bulb and you hover it over. It says right click to add fuel. You can just use the light bulb there to add fuel. Now you can't pick them back up, which is unfortunate. But they're kind of cool, anyway. And what else? Did I give you my gold? Yes, I did. Just remain those. And I put the other paper in here. Yes, I did. One, one rock. Yeah, I'm carrying around one rock. Go figure. 
they don't fertilize as much as poop does, but they do fertilize, so I'll just throw that on there because we happen to have it on us. Put these in there. Don't have anything else to give it a try. No, I need that. And now I forgot what I was doing already. Oh, that's right, we needed some spider silk. You know what? We're going after spiders, Chester, so I'm going to leave you here. You can hold my this, and this, and my that, and I will be back. And where was that one nest? All the way down there. Okay. As long as you don't have a, a pig around you, because the pig will come and will eat your seed. As long as you don't have a pig around you, you should have no problem. And you're not standing too close to your bird net. You should have no problem with the bird coming down and eventually capturing their seed, capturing himself in your net. And we got a pretty red bird. You actually don't have to bait it. It takes a little longer. We're going to imprison him in there. Yes, I know it's full. And I'm going to show you what happens. Um, yes, we need that bunny. Thank you. Okay, what happens when you feed him? If you feed him regular seeds, you can feed him regular seeds, he will poop out one to two regular seeds. Now, if you feed him a vegetable, let's show you, give him a vegetable, he will poop out seeds specific for that vegetable. So now, instead of just regular seeds, we have corn seeds. 
But the nice thing about the bird's eye roll, quick tease of my bird, is if you feed him a morsel, he will give you an egg. Now the eggs can be used in the crock pot for several recipes. Um, they also can be left to spoil and that is one of the ingredients of TNT which we may or may not get around to making. We have, I, we have a whole bunch of slurtle um, slime so we don't really have a need for the TNT although we may make it just for um, just for the shits and giggles of it but I love these jack-o'-lantern lights and actually I'm quite happy with the fact that they made them have no durability on them now that is, that is actually very nice because there was no way to pick them back up and once you place them you know, they actually ran out so it, it made them oops kind of a stupid thing to actually use before. Now, now they're, they're actually convenient. They don't throw off a lot of light, but they do throw off light, and it's nice. Um, and I showed you what you can do with a bird. Um, it, it says harvest bird cage. The only thing harvesting your bird cage does is um, pull your bird out of it for some reason and I'm not sure exactly why you would want to pull your bird out of it I guess unless you were starving and needed to eat him um, I'm not sure why you would want to pull your bird out of it but that is um, bird cages and pumpkin lanterns and I'm trying to think next time we will go and and we'll probably go back down in the cave. Like I said, I really, really still would like to see a bunny and to get a bunny hut. Now, the one thing about caves is you cannot take Chester down into caves with you. So he'll have to stay up here no matter what. But I'm going to leave it here for this episode. And I appreciate you all watching. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.